It's November 7th right now. It is 2.55. Um, I just got settled in the tree. I wanted to get out here a little earlier, but I uh, had some homework to do in case I do shoot a deer that I don't need to rush and have a crappy night about doing homework, but I'm up here in Algon County right now, or down here depending on where you are, and uh, it's a great night besides I thought it was going to be a little cooler, um, but I ran a drag line with some cold blue uh, to me. I had a buck, a little buck, uh, here. I don't even remember when that was too, a week in, a week ago and it followed my cold blue right to where I wanted it and came perfectly broadside and did exactly what I wanted. Um, I just needed it to be a bigger buck. But I've been seeing some good stuff, good activity out here. I just haven't seen, really haven't seen a shooter. I don't have a shooter on camera that I know of. We'll see, but it's November 7th and a lot of people say this is the best day out of the year to ever hunt. Um, within a couple days of the 7th so who knows we could see a stud tonight the buck I shot out here last year I'd never had on camera um, and he came into a bleat so that was later in the year though so I don't know what's going on we will see and we'll see what happens tonight but high hopes You know, I have never taken a 50 yard shot on a deer, but I'm super confident in my shooting. I practice all the time. I thought it was an ethical shot and I was sure that I had that shot. And as you can see in the footage, I actually did have that shot. That shot was on point, but you know, he, his little ear twitched at that last second and he turned his shoulder. I, I thought I didn't hit him. I, you know, I'm, I'm like my eyes told me that that deer moved and I did not touch that deer, especially on his reaction of running back and stopping 15 yards from where I shot him. So I really thought I blew it with that buck and I thought I wouldn't see him again. Again, this buck just comes out of nowhere, and I'm not ready for it. I, I, I'm getting the camera on him and everything, and he just stops. For like 20 minutes, he's just in the same spot, and I'm just overthinking that shot. 
uh, you know, I, I looked at that shot, I looked at his shoulder, and I was like, oh wow, I actually did hit him and put a nice little gash on him. Um, I really wanted to put another arrow in him, just like, I didn't want this deer to be wounded. And so I'm just, everything's going through my head and it's going crazy. And some guy pulls up behind me on this two track and he's, I don't know what he was doing. He must have been like throwing something out of his truck or something. And he pulls up and this deer just wasn't having it. Like then he definitely didn't move for like another 15 minutes. And he starts walking out this path in front of me and he gets in front of me and he's just before this opening that is a perfect opening at 20 yards. And I said, this opening's at 20 yards, the next opening's at 30, and one of those, he's gonna walk right through it and I'm gonna take my shot. And it's gonna be, I mean, you know, make sure that shot counts and really put it in. Needless to say, that, you know, it's not what happened. And he ends up turning around Um, so definitely had a, um, I would like to say interesting hour and a half. Um, I don't have a lot of space left on my memory card, but um, I don't have another one with me up in the truck. I literally filled one up today. Um, but I'm feeling really sick to my stomach right now because I literally just watched a buck that I shot at twice and hit both times. Um, just walk away. Didn't look very... Uh, very hurt so I don't know um, I'm not feeling pretty good right now it sort of sucks a lot I would like to say I heard something crash in the little thicket over there but I don't think I did and uh, oh, I've never done this to a buck and it it really sucks right now. He's a nice buck. Um, he's definitely not my biggest buck, but he's a really cool buck. He has two split brows, so he's a typical eight, but with two split, split brows, and I've always wanted a buck with split brows, and that's why I shot. That's why I took the first shot. Um, and, and I'm super confident, like 50 yards, I take a 50 yard shot, I'm super confident about that. And my shot was perfectly on point everything was good and then he just turned at the last second I don't know, I'm sort of speechless and then on top of that I just dropped my phone all the way down so I'm gonna go look at the arrow because I only had I only brought two arrows because I never really need a third um, so I really don't know what to do right now uh, this, this really sucks um, like really bad but I had deer running all over me, and I couldn't turn my head because he was right in front of me at 20 yards. And he like stayed, I had one hole for a second, and then I had another hole with 20 yards for a second, but he just wouldn't leave those, so. I'm gonna turn this off, get down here on my phone, and see what's going on. Yeah.